Hello everyone, this is Charles, otherwise known as Chachi Power, here with Collection DX to do a review of the BBTS exclusive Dark Energon Voyager set. You can buy this as a set with Megatron and it comes with a bonus DVD, but right now we're going to be taking a look at Optimus Prime himself. The box he comes in, it's your standard fare for Voyager size in the Prime line. Then the back shows you his robot mode and uh, truck mode, and also shows you the weapons it comes with. And if we take a look to the side here, you'll see that there's technical data there, his strength, intelligence, and all that stuff. And once we get it out of the box, you'll see the tray in the background has some nice dark energon graphics. So let's take the guy out of the package and see what's going on. Alright guys, so here's Optimus Prime. First thing you're going to notice is he has translucent plastics, especially in the upper area. The legs don't have any translucent plastic. But you'll see he's got the little cab windows here, which are translucent orange. Uh, also on the forearms here, and the outer arms and shoulders are a clear red, as is the rest of the cab back here that's all folded up. Now this version of Optimus Prime is based off of the uh, Robots in Disguise Prime figure, which I have right here, so you can see the differences. And take a look at the head on the Dark Energon Prime, and take a look at the head on the regular Voyager Prime figure. You'll see that the Dark Energon doesn't have a face mask, and this one does. And if you're wondering why Optimus Prime is full of Dark Energon, is because throughout their fighting with uh, the Decepticons, who are using Dark Energon to take over the Earth, uh, the Autobots are being exposed to Dark Energon. Having said that, we're going to check out the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. You'll see it moves around rather nicely. You can look up and down, side to side. You get the shoulders on the ball joint, which can go all the way around. You have a bicep swivel. You have the elbows. Then you have the hands, which only go up and down. All right. You have no waist due to the transformation design. You have the hips, which go out all the way on a ball joint right here. Also the thigh swivel. Then you have your knees, which are pretty generous. And the foot here, which is also on a ball joint. An Optimus Prime comes with two weapons. You get this little light blue sword here, which you can just pop in his hands. It's also got a peg right here, which you can attach to the forearm, almost like a spike. Then he's got this Energon weapon here, which has an LED gimmick, which is kind of hard to see because of all the lighting I have here. And you can just go ahead and attach that to his arm, and he can go ahead and start blasting people. I also want to do a size comparison with Prime Voyager Megatron here. This is actually not the Dark Energon one. There's a separate review for that, so check it out. But this gives you a sense of scale. And this is how it scales with Wheeljack, which is one of the deluxe figures in the Prime line. All right, so what we're going to do now is cover transformation. And here's Dark Energon Optimus Prime in his vehicle mode. So you'll see most of, actually all of the cab is translucent red. And you'll notice this gigantic Autobot logo here. You got the little Autobot logo right on the grill and you do have a painted headlight detail there. And you'll notice the grill and bumper are a very dark gray as is the visor up here. Now if we take a look at the back where all this is light blue, it's actually a metallic plastic. And the light blue theme continues on to the stacks here which are soft. And the wheels are just straight up black, the rims and the tires itself. Now if we take a look at the bottom, you do see all the robot bits. Uh, the weapons can be attached. You can attach the sword like this. Then the Energon weapon can also attach right on top of that. Now you can also attach the weapons to the top. All you gotta do is pull these side panels down, bring this up, just push it back just a tad, then bring the panels back up on both sides. And you can attach the weapon right there. And then you can go ahead and use that little gimmick. Alright guys, that's going to do it for the review. If you enjoyed the figure, you can go ahead and get it through BigBadToyStore.com, BBTS.com. It's an exclusive there. You can get the Optimus Prime alone or you can get them with Megatron. If you get it as a set, you do get this DVD here, which contains Season 2, Episode 6, Loose Cannons. So check that out, guys, and also check out Collection DX for the written review. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.